hello hello party people so um i made a video for a game bad driver did not recommend called i'm in love with your dead grandmother it's a pretty bad game it's so bad that it's pretty good it is full motion video there's no way to save the game um it's about 25 minutes long you make certain decisions in the uh, game and you get trophies for that if you pick the right ones uh, there's something wrong with the audio, there's an echo because I forgot to turn something off. But, um, I was questioning whether I should sal try to salvage it, but, you know, I didn't. So, hopefully this will not turn into one of those videos. But, um, it might. Hopefully not, though. Um, um something, something happened during this pandemic or whatever, um, if it's still going on, I have no idea, um, that's sort of, I'm not sure how to phrase it, it sort of affected me in a very negative way, um, the fact that I really haven't reconnected with the social world in general hasn't helped. Um, I just, um, well, tonight I have an excuse, arguably this weekend I have an excuse, it's because, uh, the car is having problems, so, my ex-girlfriend's car that my parents don't want to give up is being fixed, because they don't want to give up that car. I can understand if the car was worth a lot of money, which is not. I can understand if it was new, which is not, but I guess this car must hold more sentimental value towards them than me. Even though we would have gotten more money by donating it, we would have gotten like nothing by trading in, we would have gotten like nothing by selling to a private party, unless they're looking for that particular car, which is not a uncommon car. Um, it's not a luxury car, it's not high-end, it's not within this past decade. Um, I think, um, well, let's, I was going to say something about something I'll mention later on, but for now, um, I think I talked about this before, like, when I'm wearing a mask, right, which I still do, um, you cannot mistake my race for any other race. I'll, I'll give you a showcase. So you see all this up here? Like, I, I can't hide as any other race. I, I can't be mistaken for any other race. And, um... How's that South Asian hate thing going? Is that still going on? Um, I don't mean to make light of it. I just mean maybe it was just a flavor of the week or possibly months, but like how long have hate crimes been going on for regardless of any race? And I don't mean to sound negative, but what progress has been made? How is it any less negative? Hate crimes will always be a thing. What makes it so special nowadays? The fact that we ought to sit at home and, and ruminate on all the stuff going on that shouldn't have been going on in the world, regardless of a pandemic? So, I just, um, there's only so many times you can go any time of day, but let's say at night, um, without being given an, a dirty look, without being called some slur, without just just not feeling safe in general, and the hibernation of this pandemic didn't help that, because I felt some of that shit before this whole thing happened, and. I I don't know why I feel somewhat surprised 
and it's just how how many times do I have to be reminded that I'm different in a negative way I know I'm built different but like it's just being different in general I don't know um, so this part I was going to mention um, that I alluded to earlier uh, um, a big reason I haven't been going out at least to the bar scene to the fucking uh, even coffee shops or places where people normally meet people on either that or virtual places where people normally meet people um, I haven't been doing haven't been doing much of either of those. Most of the PlayStation Five stuff I do is um single player. Even if there's a multiplayer option, I usually don't take advantage of it. Honestly, I am not a hundred percent sure if I can take another breakup. And there wasn't something special about, you know, the last 13 or so breakups. Um, some of them were just breakups. Others had certain circumstances. But looking back on it, just the whole concept of breaking up as a whole. I don't want to make it sound like I'm giving up. I just, I don't know if I am mentally capable of handling another one. Obviously the reasons might be different. Most likely they would be different, but it's like I'm not saying I've been around the block or anything, but I feel like that's not the right mentality to go into meeting someone new. I don't know, um, everyone becomes ready at their own pace, right? It's been almost two fucking years. I understand a lot of that was pandemic time. I, um, I don't know how to escape this rut that I'm currently in. Sometimes I question if my confidence took a blow. It's just I'm, I'm questioning what the best case scenario will be that would happen something positive in my life whether I become social again or not. I mean, have, have have all my breakups, have all my exes, have they all been quote-unquote normal? Probably not. Was I ever normal in any of these relationships? Probably not. I mean, I always joke around that I'm a shut-in or whatever, but I just... I just need certain things in my life to change. And I understand I should be making them change, but it's better to have loved and lost, right? Sometimes I question the validity of that statement. I'm uh, starting to get a little nervous about um, my chances of getting that full-time position. I think having something that's going to take up most of my time like that well, that should be a good thing you know I'd be making more money which is also a good thing it's been two years 
It's not even the particular person I broke up with. It's the circumstances. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Just, I just had this overwhelming feeling that something's not right. Or some things are not right. I don't know. Hmm. Like, I remember, um, this was my first relationship. Um, I remember she and I would play this game all the time. This is how we met, and um, I just became so attached to the fucking computer, man. It's like, that was all I needed for social interaction. Of course I had friends on there as well. What was so different about then, that is not the same as now. And I've come to realize it's the positivity of it. The positivity of even having vir a virtual circle of friends versus the negativity of uh, just shutting myself in like this. Like I said, I have an excuse for this weekend that you know, the car's not working. I probably don't want to fucking walk in the middle of the night. But, um... I mean, I can take a walk in the neighborhood, but... Would, would that actually make me feel better? Is that what I should concentrate on right now? Things that make me feel good? Even if it's fleeting? Like, I understand that I'm not the only type, let's call it that, type of minority get, that gets this kind of hate speech directed towards them. shouldn't be directed towards anyone in the first place. It shouldn't even exist. You know, part of me thought at the beginning of all this that this would actually be a good thing because we would all, no matter what your race was, we would all band together to um, quote-unquote defeat this whole virus thing. I thought we will work together as a as a planet, as a human race, rather than a, a ethnic race. I thought we would all work together and come to a solution together. And look what look what's happened. There's there's potentially another war. And are are people still talking about that? Does does the conflict in the Ukraine even exist anymore? It's just really interesting to see sometimes how the media spins and how popular topics move from one place to another. Because at the end of the day, people don't want to think about this shit. People don't want to think about things that make them uncomfortable, that make them question whether their mentality is right or not. They just want to be fed positivity I mean in a way they want to be fed things that make them feel good why would anyone want things that make them feel bad and I don't really have an answer for that it's been two years and it just feels like I haven't made any progress at all Uh, what that progress is supposed to be towards, I don't know. Is it when you suddenly meet someone new that everything's fixed? Because that, that fixes everything, right? When you move on, right? But what happens when you move on 
and you're not even ready. You're not even ready with yourself. How would you be with another person? Another person who you might have to take care of. Another person who might have to take care of you. Another person that, as cliche as it sounds, that you open up your heart to. Now, would they stay there? Or would they take the emergency exit out? Well, 13 times has shown me it's the latter. I shouldn't say that though. It's only partially true, right? Alright guys, um... I'm, I'm a little annoyed that my video got messed up because of the fucking echo. Um... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chill tonight or something. Um, there's no way I can fucking go anyway. No, maybe I will take that walk and I record it before I get attacked by some raccoon or possum or fox or uh, all the creatures of the night around here. Uh, Alright, thanks for listening guys. Take care of yourselves and each other.